We've just received our S24 Ultra and I'm honestly fairly shocked. As soon as I pick this phone up out of the box, you can tell it's made to last. The hardware feels honestly solid. Something that I've never really liked about Samsung phones was the curved display. And thankfully they've removed it from the S24 Ultra. When we compared it to our S23 Ultra, it honestly feels shockingly different. Now I know it's only a very small change, but it does make a difference in the hands. The S24 Ultra somehow feels thinner than the S23 Ultra that we have here. Even though it does have flat glass, it's definitely not sharp at the edges. They've sort of beveled the edge so it still is smooth, not quite as much as last year's one, but just that little bit so it's not sharp on your thumb. It's quite nice as well looking at the display on front and just having a border that's symmetrical all the way around. Other than that, the only real difference you can tell is the fact that it's made out of titanium. And in the hands, I'd say it feels ever so slightly lighter than the S23 Ultra. Not something you'd notice really day to day, but something when you're holding them side by side, you can tell. At the bottom of the phone, you can see that they've changed the speaker cutout to just have one large hole rather than the individual ones on the S23 Ultra. And then at the top, you can see there's now two holes for the microphone rather than just the one on the S23. Other than that, from a far distance away, you probably couldn't tell that this is the S24 Ultra other than the color. Now, speaking on the color, I honestly really like this. As soon as we got it out the box, it sort of had this shimmer to it. It's not one solid color like the iPhone 15 was in titanium. It sort of has an iridescent feel to it. Another small thing that we noticed is that the S Pen is actually gray with the titanium sort of end as well. Now, unfortunately, Samsung still don't include a plug in the box. So if you want to charge your device and have no fast charging plugs, you'll need to purchase one of those as well. It still comes with a USB-C to C cable, so at least there's that. The setup process was fairly straightforward. Log in with my Google account. It then asked if I wanted to transfer things from an Android phone, an iPhone, or just start from new. I obviously picked transfer from an iPhone and I'm happy to say this process went very smoothly and all of my apps, wallpaper and everything were transferred. The only thing I would caveat is that you will still have to transfer things like your login details across and log in again on your new phone. But I did actually try and switch when we did the Flip 5 video and I came into a lot of issues there and my apps never actually came across. I'm not sure if that was because I tried to do it wirelessly and it's just more reliable with a cable or if Samsung has updated something. Now, one thing that I've already set up and I'm very excited for is the built-in fingerprint reader. I can't tell you how much I've missed having a fingerprint reader on a phone. I've had an iPhone for years now. Obviously, since the iPhone 10, they've removed the fingerprint reader. Now, while Face ID is great, it's not always convenient to use, especially because you actually have to look at the screen. I miss the days where I used to get my phone out my pocket and already, by muscle memory, have my thumb on the fingerprint reader and have it unlocked before I've even got it raised up. Now, the only other annoying thing that I've already found is that Samsung still include a load of bloatware on their phones. I don't know what it is about Samsung devices, but I don't know why they still insist on putting their apps on as well as Google apps as well. It just seems a bit pointless having a few apps that do all the same things. Now, I'm going to be using this S24 Ultra for about a month rather than using my iPhone. So if you want to see how I get on, make sure you subscribe to see that video. Right, that's it from me. I'll catch you in the next video.